overnight. Weeks of searching for a missing mother and son have come to a tragic discovery. Search teams found the bodies of Carissa and Billy Fretwell in a wooded area about 10 miles west of the city of Yamhill. The two disappeared from their Salem apartment just over a month ago. Billy's biological father remains in jail, accused of killing them. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling talked with Carissa's friend about the loss of the young mother and the happy youngster who brought joy to those who knew them. She's going to be very missed. Bethany Brown fights back the tears when she thinks of her close friend Carissa Fretwell and her son Billy. Billy that's, didn't get a live in, didn't get a live life. He didn't get to do anything. The Yamhill County Sheriff's Office says the young mom's body was found in a wooded area. She died from a single gunshot wound to her head. Her three-year-old son found dead alongside her, with more tests pending to determine how he died. It's just, it's disgusting. The thought that, especially with how hot it's been and them just being left out there. <laughs> At least they're together. Residents in the city of Yamhill tell me that it would be difficult to find a body located in the thick woods surrounding this town. They also say that Michael Wolf only lives about six miles away from here. I think I know why. I just I'll never understand it. Mr. Wolf, you're before the court by video to be arraigned on criminal charges. Billy's father, Michael Wolf, was indicted for the murders and denied bail. Bethany says that Carissa was just awarded child support from him. She disappeared shortly before payments were supposed to start in June. Do you think they have the right guy? Yes, they do. The Yamhill County Sheriff's Office says detectives were able to lead searchers to the area where Carissa and Billy were found. It took two hours of painstaking work by firefighters, police, and search and rescue teams to find the bodies. Uh, I think it's just a reminder to everyone to not take life for granted. Enjoy the little things. Bethany says she's grateful for those who helped to bring Carissa and Billy home. I actually had a dream about her two nights ago. And um, she's, I don't remember exactly what she said, but it was, we were just walking together and I was just asking if she was okay. She said she was okay. In Yamhill, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.